Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State, India, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. This channel is for everybody. This channel is for medical students, medical professors, medical doctors, patients, as well as for the common man. This lecture is, of course, for the BMS students, basically, because they have the subject Swasthavrutta in the third year BMS. And there they have the two papers, paper one and paper two. Today, we are discussing the paper two, part A. So just to recall your memory, I will narrate you the 17 points, 17 points, Swasthavrutta, paper two, part A. Kindly open your notebooks. You are expected to write important keywords, very important words. So what Dr. Deshpande is teaching on the 4th of February 2024, paper 2, Swasthavrutta, PSM, Preventive and Social Medicine is a name of the subject for the MBBS students. In Ayurveda, we have the paper 2, part A, the point number 1, Janapadu Dhonsa, like the pandemic, Corona, Janapadu Dhonsa. Then second point, Vayu or the air, third point, Jala or the water, Fourth point, Bhumi and Nivasa Sthana, that is land and housing. Fifth point is a Prakash or lighting. Sixth point is Dhvani Pradushana, that is noise pollution. Seventh point, V Kirana, that is radiation. Eighth point, Apadravya Nirmulana, that is disposal of solid waste. Ninth point, Mala Nishkasana Vyavastha, that is excreta. Disposal. Tenth point, Shava Vinasha, disposal of the dead body. Eleventh point, Rutu Evam Vatavarana Jnana, meteorology. Twelfth point, disaster management. Thirteen point, occupational health. Fourteenth point, school health services. Fifteen point that we are taking today, that is epidemiology. Please write down. Please write down paper 2, part A, point number 15. I will wait. Epidemiology, E-P-I-D-E-M-I-O-L-O-G-Y. 16 point, non-communicable diseases, epidemiology. And 17th point, chikitsalaya bhavana, that is hospital bedding. Now, you must understand what is epidemiology. So, epidemiology is actually the study of the society, study of the people, study of the population. Why? Why? Why to study the people? Determine the frequency and distribution of diseases. If you want to write, write down frequency. How much frequently that means in my Gokhre Nagar, cholera patients are more, jaundice patients are more, typhoid is more. That is study of the my Gokhre Nagar area. Study in the Pune city, study in the Kharghar, study in the Thane, study in the Mumbai. So this is a study of the society, study of the people to determine the frequency and distribution. These two words are important of the diseases. Number one, this is first and to measure the risk of those diseases. How much is the risk of tuberculosis in India? So this video is very interesting for the common man also. If you are a common man, if you are a patient, don't leave this video. Oh, no, this is for student. No, no, this is for everybody. This knowledge is for everybody. Okay. Second, epidemiology is a science. Is a science. For what? Is it dealing with transmission and the control of the disease? Transmission and control of the disease. There are Many diseases that are described in the syllabus, but considering the first question, first question papers, Dr. Deshpand has made a list of seven important diseases. So you write down, these questions are asked always. Number one, leprosy is asked. Leprosy, Kushtavyadi. Second, Dengue. Third point, Typhoid. Fourth, disease, epidemiology, measles, fifth, malaria, 
sixth tuberculosis or TB and seventh is a cholera. Amongst these seven diseases, today on 4th of February 2024, Dr. Deshpande will discuss three important diseases. You please write down their names. Number one, TB. Write down tuberculosis. <laughs> TB, TB. Number two, cholera, loose motions. And number three, typhoid, three-week fever. Typhoid, fever, fever. Jvaravyadhi in Ayurveda. Huh? Okay? So let us start to discuss. Of course, the, you know the tuberculosis can be understood, can be compared with Raj Yakshma in Ayurveda. Tri Rupa Raj Yakshma, Shad Rupa Raj Yakshma, Eka Dasha Rupa Raj Yakshma, O Yakshaya. Immunity is less. So tuberculosis in Ayurveda has also supported you very good treatment. So those who are interested, those who know or want to take these treatments, Dr. Deshpande is available on WhatsApp for paid online consultation 9226810630. Then cholera is also one of the important diseases, and then we will discuss about the typhoid. So tuberculosis can be compared with Rajakshma in Ayurveda. Cholera can be compared with Vi Su Chi Ka. Annavaha Srotasa Vyadhi. This is Pranavaha Srotasa Vyadhi. And typhoid is a Santata Jvara. Santata Jvara. Three weeks fever. For the Rasa Gata or Rasa Vaha Srotasa Vyadhi. So I think I have cleared. So uh, cholera, Visuchika is Annavaha Srotas as well as Purisha Vaha Srotasa Vyadhi. This is prana versus vyadhi. Okay. So let us discuss about this disease. First, as usual, I mark some paragraphs and then we will discuss those things. Here you can concentrate. Caused by this organism, write down Mycobacterium tuberculosis. M tuberculosis. This is the name of the bacteria. So tuberculosis is a bacterial infection. Basically, pulmonary TB, chest TB, is most common. 95, 98%. But you should not forget, TB is not affecting only lungs. It can affect the intestine. It can affect especially ileocecal joint. TB of ileocecal joint is common. Then of course the brain, tubercular meningitis is also common. Bone here, vertebral column. The name is a POTS disease. P -O -T -T, P-O-T-T, POTS disease. Bone TB, then joint, tubercular arthritis is very common. In Ayurveda, it is called as a Krushtukashirisha. Krushtukashirisha. Then lymphadenitis, for example, cervical lymphadenitis is common in TB. The, t the lymph glands are attached together. That is called as a matted appearance. M A T, -T, -T like a matting. Huh? Very sticky to each other. Uh, many, many lymph glands. Then skin also TB is there. And any other part that can be affected by TB, infection, mycobacterium, tuberculosis. Actually, the disease was discovered 100 years ago. And effective drugs and vaccines are now readily available. Still, 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 in some parts of the world, TB is still not under control because there are other reasons also. So, let us see where that particular and why this TB is not controlled. Actually, you can understand in the America, before the invention of BCG, even now BCG is a preventive measures for the, if you don't want to get TB, you must have the BCG vaccine actually at the birth. There is no choice. There is no bypass. But in America, even the, before invention of BCG, there were less cases of the TB. You will ask, sir, why, why, I mean, why America less? Because standard of living and quality of life is better in America. At that time, in this time, and sometimes maybe in future, our India is great. It's progressing very well. But still, standard of living and quality of life is better in America. So TB is less in America. Rather, I can say any infectious diseases are very less in America. Okay? So... Here you can see which are the five top countries that are having the lot of cases of TB. 
India, China, Indonesia, South Africa, and Nigeria. These are the uh, unfortunate countries where they have the lot of TB cases. The most problem of TB is a, it occurring at the age 15 to 49 maximum. And this age is of education. This age is of Ashrama, family life to earn money. And unfortunately, some people suffer from TB so that they can waste their time, waste their energy, waste their money. Okay. So there is a best treatment for TB is a DOT. Don't forget this. Always MCQ and oral will be asked. D-O-T-S. DOT treatment. And directly observed treatment. Full form. The, in front of the doctor, the patient is taking medicine. That is DOT. That DOT policy is important in the public health. And DOT is now presented. The name is little bit changed. That is stop TB strategy. Bold is there. Stop TB strategy. Uh, DOT is cost effective approach of the TB control. That means in a less amount of money, the patient can get the best treatment because there are less chances that the, uh, the patient will avoid to take the treatment. He must have to take treatment under the supervision of the health care providers. Okay. Stop TB strategy has launched by the WHO World Health Organization in the 2006 and 2015, this particular period. period Maximum TB cases are in India and DOTS program is launched in India in 1997 and whole country was covered in 2006. So this is about the scenario in the society, how the TB is occurring. Okay. Now, TB is basically affecting the poor people. Maximum patients are laborers, slum dwellers, tribal people because they have the less money, less sanitation measures. Huh? Main reason for the spread are the poor living condition. Malnutrition, they cannot get a good milk, eggs, proteins. They can't afford. Then scanty housing, not a big house. Ventilation is not good and overcrowding, overcrowding. This is the main reason. One person gets infection, then hundreds of patients in the vicinity, in the neighbors, they will get the infection. That is the problem with these poor economical uh, people. TB is common in the men, men compared to the female. TB kills more women in the reproductive age group. When they have the pregnancy and the deliveries, at that time they get the infection. Major cause of infertility in India is TB. Very interesting. Why the ladies... Poor, communicable, poor community, they have the infertility problem because TB is affecting uterus. TB is affecting fallopian tubes. So genital organs can also affect and also if they have the chest infection, their immunity will be low and coming progeny, the child will be having undernourishment, malnourishment, congenital anomalies, hereditary diseases. So that is the problem. Okay. Even TB can block. The tubal blockages are there. Okay. So, increased number of now next problem is HIV. AIDS. When increasing HIV, they have also, because the name itself, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. AIDS. When immunity is low, immediately mycobacterium tuberculosis will attack on you. Now, important indices or the parameters that we are going to discuss. But for that matter, I will have to shift my page on the right side. So, I hope that you can understand the limitation of the screen and this particular meeting. But you can also appreciate that Dr. Deshpande is managing well by proper control of the page. Okay. So we will discuss epidemiological parameters are there. See, here you can see. Prevalence of infection. This word is very important. Actually, these diseases can be understood in the Roganidara subject, in the Kaya Chikitsa subject, in Charaka subject. But this terminology, prevalence, etc., is very specific for the Swastavrutta subject. That is what is prevalence? Percent of individuals who have the positive tuberculin test, TT. Incidence of infection. Prevalence is different and incidence is uh, different. Prevalence means how many people are uh, suffered and this is a percent of newly infected. Incidence. Now, similarly, like infection, there is a term prevalence of the disease 
and incidence of the new cases. Mainly TB is the patient get TB because of the two things. One is a human from one person to person, person to person. And second from animal to person, from animal. That is bovine source of infection, especially infected milk. Directly animal will not bite you. <laughs> I have to understand. But the, for example, cow, she is giving the milk and that may be contaminated with TB and you can get the TB. Effective antimicrobial treatment reduces 90% infectivity within 48 hours. So early diagnosis is very important. TB occurs in all ages, but male patients are more than the females. Actually, this is not at all a hereditary disease. But your immunity may be a little bit inherited, inherited. So, inheritation related with the susceptibility. You are more prone to get, but it is not 100% your father has a TB and you will get a TB. No, not at all. Now, but your immunity can be affected by family uh, trends. Okay. We do not have the inherited immunity against TB. This is acquired after natural infection or through Bacigi vaccination. How we can get the immunity against TB? Either I will suffer once in a lifetime with the TB. So second time TB is very, very, very rare. This is one. If I have not taken the BCG, but fortunately I have taken the BCG. And second, how you, how you can prevent to get the TB? Always get the BCG. That means you are not now taking the BCG, but you are uh, progeny, your son, your grandson, always spread this message that BCG vaccination can prevent you from getting tuberculosis. Don't forget that. Okay. Now next, we will discuss about the social factors. For example, here you can see, TB can also consider as an indication of your society's standard. How is your society? America, Europe, Africa, India, you compare. This is because in addition to the mycobacterium tuberculosis, this particular organism, any other factors are there. Other factors are important for getting TB. For example, poor quality of life. Then poor housing system, not proper ventilation, no sunlight, no air. Overcrowding, density is more important. You try to understand in India, the most crucial problem is density of the people. Actually, I understand Prime Minister always saying that our youths are our like uh, economy energy. But I think overcrowding is a problem for India. 140 crore people in a small land. In America, we have, they have a very less population, but their land is double or triple than India. So you see that in America and Europe, density of the people is very, very, very less. And that is why the main thing that they don't get any infectious diseases. This is my bold statement. Try to understand. Okay. So population explosion is a problem of India. Undernourishment. So we cannot get the proper care of the very crowded people. Uh, food and air and light, electricity and water. Lack of education, large families and early marriage that can also reduce your immunity. Now we will talk about the new thing that is a tuberculin test. This separately ACQ may be asked to you in this subject or any other subject. Tuberculin test discovered by Van Perquet. This is the name of the scientist complicated in 1907. Positive reaction of test indicates that the person is having present infection or he may, may have infection in his previous life. It is not at all always indicating this time infection. Mantox test, the name of the test is Mantox, Montox, Montox, M-O-U-N, M-O-N-T-O-U-X, Montox test, Montox test, intradermal, here, 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 forearm. Can you see my forearm? Here, here. Intradermal injection of PPD, purified protein derivative, injection is given very small on the surface of the forearm, only 0.1 ml, only like a drop, 0.1 ml. Result is, that means in the pathological, I have also worked in the pathological laboratory, famous in Pune, Godbole laboratory, the senior most uh, pathologist, he is no more. So, 
I learned a lot of things from him. Uh, so this test, we usually ask to, we knew the injection and we ask, don't rub it, don't scratch it, don't hit it, don't do anything. Forget about and come on the third day. To, I want to see the reaction. I want to see the reaction. Okay. That reaction is read on the third day. Tuberculin reaction. What, it, what is tuberculin reaction? Erythema. Red color here. Actually, we are actually marked with this point. Huh? Like this. Here, when I give this injection, for example, here. Can you see? And then I read whole area like this. I think something you can see. <laughs> okay. I am trying to show you something. So, reaction erythema and induration, little bit hardness, little bit hardness, erythema and induration, reaction is greater, we measure by measuring uh, your uh, uh, slide, putpatti in Marathi, I immediately don't remember that name, measuring tape you can take, greater than 10 mm, that erythema is a positive test, reaction in between 6 to 9 mm, is a doubtful test and reaction less than 6 millimeter is a negative test. This is very interesting. Strong reactors that is greater than 20 mm are prone to develop TB. One or the other day they are going to be tuberculosis patient. In the children below 2 years of age shows positive reaction. This is most important. It can be considered as active tuberculosis even though it is not clinically marked, even though the child do not have cough, child do not have the fever, but child do not have the weight loss. But if below two years of age, positive reaction, then consider it as a positive TB. Okay. In some conditions, this test may be negative. Remember, huh? that is false negative. Actually, the patient may have TB, but the reaction will be negative. That is in malignancy. Cancer, Hodgkin disease, AIDS, HIV, malnutrition, and viral conditions. Okay, now we have to go on the next page. And I will shift this my page on the left side and adjust my camera also. Sorry. So, viral infections like measles, chickenpox, immunosuppressive drugs like steroids, prednisolone, bisolone. If the patient is taking these steroids for rheumatoid arthritis, for kidney problem, the test may come negative, but the patient may have TB. That is called as a false negative. Okay. I hope I have cleared this point. Now we will discuss about mode of transmission. Okay. More, how it is spreading. This TB is mainly spreading by the <coughs> droplet infection. Frequency and intensity of cough and ventilation of the environment that affect the transmission. TB is not spread by if, if I am eating the poha, upama, if I am taking the soup, if I am taking the tea, it will not spread with my vessels, with my dishes, with my cup. No, no, no. If somebody is also using that same cup, he will not get that infection. Okay. So, don't bother about these articles used by the patient. Napkin. For example, I clean my hands and some other person takes that particular napkin and wash his face. The infection will not take place. I hope that I have cleared that point. Spread is negligible by the patients having extra pulmonary TB. These are safe people. If by chance some of my patient, some of my relative has a POTS disease, vertebral column, uh, a bone TB, then uh, uh, if he, even he cough, the, it, it will not spread that infection because that coughing infection can only spread if you have the chest TB. In intestinal TB, no spread in that way. In, t in uh, this bone TB, no spread in the coughing. Are you getting my point? Now, time for receiving infection to the development of positive TB is approximately three to six weeks. Remember this thing. For example, you visited some crowded places like mall. Huh? Pilgrims, Mela, uh, very crowded place and very uh, unhygienic places. Many times I have observed some of my male patients who have visited, who have visited this particular prostitutes or sex workers, 
which usually have the living in a very very crowded and dense people especially i am talking about pune for example there are some red red light area very very crowded and unhygienic if some people visits in that place apart from std sexually transmitted disease he can get tb infection so be careful while going or visiting any any crowded places with an unhygienic environment many people now visiting to the our uh, for example rituals to visiting the um, uh, spiritual places but there you must take care of the crowd huh? crowd can spread the tb infection okay now but development of the disease is depend upon the how strong is the infection and of course if i am the host parasite reaction that means it's your own immunity will also decide whether you will get the infection or not the incubation period may be from weeks to the years now control of tb now we want to control the tb okay how we can control here you can see i will mark for you then you you will be able to concentrate control of tb is one is a prevention you always know that prevention is better than cure so you can find out the cases and treat them preventive aspect is the most important is the bcg vaccination first step in tb control program is early detection of the sputum positive cases sputum <coughs> sputum not the saliva sputum is different than saliva sputum is different than saliva don't forget this thing sputum sample is collected in early morning in the sterile bottle given by the pathological laboratory sputum is not examined only one day this is very important today tomorrow day after tomorrow every time sputum must be checked for 3 days 3 days is important doctor must take the notice of the causes of false positive may come or false negative cases may come be careful now national tuberculosis control program this name is very important for the swastha vrutta subject because they are asking you tell the national program of tb control so ntcp national tuberculosis control program of india this line this word is very important they are suggesting the need of sputum examination in the following patients when you have to do the sputum examination number 1 persistent cough you are giving anti cough syrup modern sitopaladi churna ayurveda everything anti allergic steroids antibiotic no result no result continuous cough for more than 3 weeks this is very important 3 or 4 weeks continuous or evening rise of temperature patient how they will tell you they say in the evening i am feeling very 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 tired weakness marathi people they always say in marathi language mala sandhyakali zara thandi vajla sarki vat feverish vatto mala i feel feverish they don't feel too hot little temperature rise is there huh? evening rise of temperature in my olden days what we do in the general practice we ask the patient if he is little bit educated to take the notebook write down the date and write down morning evening here date for example 1 2 3 4 february here morning temperature here evening temperature for example 8 am 8 pm 8 am 8 pm very easy even 8 days record will tell the doctor for example always morning 97.4 97.7 but in the evening 99 99.2 99.1 so there is a difference in 1 or 2 degrees fahrenheit so that is called as a evening rise of temperature then some people may get hemoptysis blood in the sputum then anorexia very important the patient feels that i don't want to eat and weight loss so anorexia plus weight loss is a typical in two or three diseases please write down where this combination is there anorexia plus weight loss number 1 tb number 2 cancer and number 3 hiv 
whenever there is anorexia, loss of appetite, not want to eat, for last three weeks, sorry, three months, four months, six months, always think of TB, always think of cancer, always think of HIV. 100%. So this much confidence of teaching is important because of the clinical experiences. Okay. So anorexia with weight loss, very important. Next, sputum culture is also done. It is, also, it is called as a culture and sensitivity test. My dear friends, we do the culture and sensitivity for urine many times. Culture and sensitivity for stool many times. But very rarely we have to do the culture and sensitivity of the sputum. Okay, but unfortunately, this test is expensive, too much cost, needs expertise and takes the results. After six weeks, you will get the report. After one and a half month report, because it is a culture and sensitivity. The organisms are grown in the plate. Okay, now to find out the TB cases, easiest way is a radiography that is X-ray chest. X-ray chest. MRI and CT scan. These are the best. X-ray test is very, very, very in that way comparatively cheap and easy test. Huh? Chest X-ray PA view. Don't forget this word. Postero anterior view. PA view. Okay. And then for the POTS disease, sometimes you may need MRI test. Okay. Dots. This is very important, directly observed treatment, very short course, trained person, that means a expert nurse or expert doctor will supervise when patient is swallowing the drug in, this, in his presence or her presence. Then patient is given medicine for one week and asked to return MT, multi blister combi plaque, combi pack, I'm sorry. So hold these things. Because that is a indication that he is taking medicine regularly. Taking the medicines regularly is the most important part to get the cure of the TB disease. If you are irregular, inconsistent, because the treatment has to be taken for three months, for six months, for eight months. Remember my words. It is not like a cold and cough and flu. Only taking the medicines for three days, five days, finish. No, no, no. Then the TB will not be get cured. When you want to get totally cured from the TB, you must have the patience. The doctor's responsibility to convince the patient. Please, please take the medicines regularly. That is most important. Okay. TB in the childhood. Most of the time, child gets infection from the adult family members. That means some grandson is there and the grandfather is having <coughs> cough and he is having the oh, playing with the granddaughter uh, uh, or the son. Bad luck. May he may get that particular infection. Okay. So be careful if the relative family member having the TB. So take some precautions. Uh, I am not saying keep them away. I am not saying that. But take some basic precautions to prevent the droplet infection. And the child's immunity is always low. So you should be more careful for the children and the old people. That is always our doctors say to the patients. Okay. A mini immune system is not very well developed under the age of 5 years. They are more prone to develop tuberculosis in the young age. Huh? We will see what is there is also a risk. So, my dear friends, let us come on the another part is a prevalence of infection. Percent of individuals, I'm sorry, I'm not in a proper, uh, just a moment, just give me a few minutes. Okay. So, in the young, spreading of the disease to the other parts of the body is more diagnosis of PTB children is difficult since they rarely cough and the sput up. So, children's diagnosis is very difficult. Now, we will directly come to the different medicines for the tuberculosis. This is for the post-graduation entrance examination. These doses are very important. These are the five drugs. Streptomycin, 15 mg per kg. Isoniazid, 15 mg per kg. Ethambutal, 30 mg per kg. Pyrazinamide, 35 mg per kg. Rifampicin, 
10 milligram per kg. So the students are expected to remember all these doses. It is moving from 10 to maximum 35. So at least that much common sense you to 10 to 35, not less and not more, you have to write down. So these names are very, very important. Okay. Now, we will see the next step is about the TB and the HIV. AIDS. HIV is also human immunovirus that is attacking and the AIDS is the name of the disease. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is a group of symptoms. So basically this disease is damaging your immune system. And because you have the less immunity, this the spread more and more TB bacteria will multiply from harmless infection to the life threatening condition. HIV can give you or respond, uh, can make you possible for the primary infection of the TB or maybe it will reactivate of the latent infection which is uh, Sukta was the hidden uh, position though TB it will get spread or inactivate. Then also it can make a recurring infections. HIV patients with TB may have the negative sputum report but then they may require sputum culture. So in HIV patient sputum culture is more important. Extra pulmonary TB is more common in HIV patient. Lung, in spite of the lung other parts like bone, intestines, meningitis, this is more common in the HIV patients. Now we will talk about this particular BCG vaccination. I think this is also asked in the Kaumar Vritya Tantra subject. So this all information you can write in the Kaumar Vritya Tantra. Okay. So BCG, why this name? The Kamet here is a Kamet and Guerin. These are the name of the people, scientists. Kamet Guerin. Kamet Guerin. These are the two French scientists. French developed this vaccine and so the name Basili Kamet Guerin. Basili Kamet Guerin. Initially, the BCG was given orally. Oh my God. 1921 to 1925. First human was vaccinated by this here, here, intradermal technique in 1927. Why BCG is given? To induce artificial primary infection which can stimulate our resistance power that is acquired resistance to fight with the upcoming next. If I by chance get the infection, I have already antibodies that are developed with the BCG vaccination. So live bacterial vaccine is always used. Since January 1967, BCG laboratory Chennai is using Danish 1331. This is the name of that particular vaccine strain for the production of BCG vaccination. So this is the name of the strain particular organisms. This vaccine is stable for many weeks at ambient temperature in tropical climate like India. Even up to one year, this vaccine can be stable if kept away from the direct light or you can store in the freeze, refrigerator below 10 degrees centigrade. Vaccine must be protected from light by wrapping in double layer of red or black cloth. Red and black cloth. Red or black cloth, you have to write so protection from the light. This is a powder form. Remember, BCG is a powder form. For dilution, normal saline is used. Why? Because distilled water can cause irritation. Reconstituted, that means diluted vaccine is better to be used within three hours. Dose of the BCG for age below four weeks after birth, 0.05 ml, very less dose. Okay, next. Again, I will have to shift my screen on the left side. A small pause of few seconds. Okay, and then 0.1 ml for the age above four weeks. So immediately after birth or within one month, very less dose, 0.05 ml. But after that, 0.1 ml. Intradermal injection is given. 
by tuberculin serine. This is name is very important. In the first year BMS, Kriya Shah is a subject for the spotting examination for the practical purpose. We use this tuberculin syringe and kept for the spotting. Just above injection is given insertion of deltoid muscle. This muscle is deltoid. Huh? Here, here. Vaccine should not be contaminated with an antiseptic or detergent. So, if spirit is used to clean the skin, it must be evaporated before vaccine is given. Remember, the always a doctor always gives some spirit swap, clean it. But after cleaning, wait, 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 wait. Don't give immediately BCG. Spirit should be evaporated, then give the BCG. Okay? BCG can be given at birth or at six weeks of age with other vaccine, that is immunization program. So next topic is very important. This is always asked in the uh, Kaumara Vritya Tantra subject also. This is the SAQ for seven months. Effects of vaccination. After getting this BCG, what will happen? After two to three weeks, first there will be papule will develop. Papule, a small up. In the skin, if anything at the level of the skin, that is macule, if little elevation, little, that is papule, like bud, very small, then if the pus is there, that is called as a pustul. So these are the skin lesions. Macule at the level of skin, macule, only erythema, red color. Papule up, little up, and pustul pus is there. So this is what is that? Papule, or very little. A papule develops at the side of vaccination here. It slowly increases in size and reaches a diameter 4 to 8 mm in 5 weeks. This is normal reaction. Don't worry, be happy. Huh? It then subsides, automatically comes down and break. It's papule, <laughs> break. And shallow ulcer, very small, like a wound, very small ulcer, usually covered with crust. In Marathi language, we call it as a khapli dharana. It's a kinchit khapli atetala, crust mantuapan. In English, it is called as a crust. Healing occurs automatically. No bandaging, no antiseptic cream, no giving heat, no ice, nothing. You should not do anything. Okay? Within three months, everything, only scar, only scar, SCR, permanent for lifetime. Everybody, each viewer should see and write me in the comment whether you have that scar of BCG, whether you have taken BCG in your life. How you, sir, I am now 37, 20, 30. I, how I will know that my father has given, mother has given, taken to the doctor? You see in the mirror, here or here, is there any scar of BCG vaccination? That is very important. You write in the comment. I, I will wait for you. <laughs> write in the comment, okay? Automatically subside. Now, very rarely, there are some complications. Yes, very rarely. Don't worry. Don't afraid. Sometimes occur like a prolonged severe ulcer. That ulcer will not heal. Continue, continue. Then, suppurative, some pus, lymphadenitis, here, axilla, here, lymph gland will be enlarged, osteomyelitis, etc. But these are rare. Duration of protection by this way. If the BCG is given, minimum 20 years, guaranteed, you will not get any infection. 15 to 20 years. Protection offered by BCG is 0 to 80 percent. Some experts believe that vaccination at school age, irrespective of the vaccination at birth, to prevent the adult TB is also recommended at some places by some scientists. Okay. BCG sometimes cannot be given. Don't you? Don't you? Why? Why, doctor? Because if there is an eczema skin problem, if there is an infective dermatitis, pus is there. Don't give. Take another side. Hypo gamma globinemia. Globin is less. Leukemia, blood cancer, malignancy, and patients on immunosuppressant drugs like steroid, why so long? 
don't give. BCG should not be given. Okay. Now, next important topic is about the AKT. Very, very interesting for your practice. My dear students, my dear doctors who are practicing, remember these things and practice successfully. You can treat TB patient. Don't worry. Be happy. Treat TB patients. Use these drugs. 100% cure will be there. But you have to do ESR test also periodically. Here it is not mentioned, but I will tell you from my experience, erythrocyte sedimentation rate will not diagnose, is used for the prognosis of the disease. Prognosis, sadhya, sadhyatva. Whether my treatment is going well or problem. Whether my treatment is going well or problem. ESR, first it was 80 mm per one hour. After three months, it was now 50 mm, reducing, reducing. After three months, it is only 35 mm. Very good. But if it is increasing, then something is going wrong. Patient is not taking medicine regularly. So give the DOT treatment, D-O-T, directly observed treatment. Ask the patient every day to come to your dispensary in front of your attendant, in front of your nurse. Ask the patient to take these medicines. Of course, pay me and take the medicines. But this is very interesting. Sputum positive. Sputum, you have to do the sputum test and new patients. Then HRZE for two months. HRZE. Okay. Rifampicin. I, uh, INH, isoniazide, okay, pyrazinamide and ethambutol. These are the full forms. So these are the short form of the medicines. Short form. You Previously I have given that all the details. Isoniazide, rifampicin, streptomycin, etc. Okay. So you have to correlate those things. R for rifampicin. INH, isoniazide for H. Okay. Then pyrazinamide, Z. E for ethambutol. Here, S for streptomycin. Very simple. HRZE, two month. And HR for four month. So, total treatment must be taken for six month minimum. No choice. My dear friends, if you want to get rid of tuberculosis, if you are hearing my video, looking my video, don't forget. Minimum six month treatment is compulsory. Sir, can you treat by Ayurveda? Very interesting question. Very interesting. Personally, I am talking about myself. I will not bypass these drugs. No, no, no. Because they are very well documented, established all over the world. So why to take the risk? But yes, supportive Ayurvedic treatment must be taken. This is also must. Why? For two things. In addition to the modern AKT, why Ayurvedic treatment is given? For many diseases, I will take. Because these drugs have a lot of side effects. I am going to tell you side effects that can be prevented by taking supportive Ayurvedic medicine from Vaidya, from Ayurvedic doctor, Ayurvedic academy, Mehuna. If you are the TB patient, please write in the comment box, sir, I want a paid online consultation. Please WhatsApp me on 922-6810630 according to your Prakriti. Biotype, according to Dhatu Sarata, we Ayurveda Academy will give you the best supportive Ayurvedic treatment. Are you getting my point? To prevent the side effects, number one, and to avoid the resistance to the particular drugs. So they will act more good with the Ayurvedic catalytic effect of the medicines. So, although you feel uh, we are not giving very costly drugs, don't worry. So, but sir, your drugs are in lakhs. Rajata Basma, Hiraka Basma, Swarana Basma. No, no, my dear friend. Ayurveda Academy doctors do not do like that. Unnecessary, highly costly drugs we don't, never use, even for the cancers and all this. We are very transparent and honest advice. Okay, so next. Second category, here, treatment, sorry, sputum negative. Sputum, so these cases are a little bit, what I can say, more mild. This is more stronger cases. 
That's why here four drugs are used. Here only three drugs. Huh? H, that is INH, isoniazide, R for bifampicin, Z for pyrazinamide for two months, and HR for four months. Okay? Now, some very complicated cases, they are called as relapsed. Either they have not taken the treatment properly as per doctor's uh, doses or, or he has the resistance. He has the resistance. Then naturally, we have to give more drugs at a time. So these here you can see the only four drugs at a time. Here three drugs and here one, two, three, four, five. Streptomycin injections for three months or two months are must. Intramuscular gluteal buttocks. Streptomycin is given on the buttocks. Huh? It is also a powder form. Mix it with the distilled water or the saline and then give it. S, streptomycin, HRZE, that is INH or isoniazide, ephampicin, pyrazinamide and ethambutol for two months. HRZE for one month. So total three months. But after that, HRE for five months. So Eight month treatment is also required in resistant cases or relapsed cases. Don't forget that, my dear friends. Very important topic of today, eh? tuberculosis. Now I am shifting my page on the another side. Just give me a few seconds, my dear friends. Now here is a direct, direct explanation, fantastic explanation of each medicine of this uh, AKT, anti-tuberculosis. First is Isonex, that is H. The symbol is H. Isonex, H. Isonex, H. Rifampicin R. Rifampicin R. Pyrazinamide Z. Pyrazinamide Z. Ethambutol E. Ethambutol E. Streptomycin S. Streptomycin S. This table is must to remember. Previous table and this table no option. My dear students, my dear doctors, my dear professors, please, please, please. This is a most important part of today's video. You please write down in the comment box whether you like this, my enthusiasm and the style of teaching. I am, I am requesting you, please write down in the comment box. So Isonex, the dose is 10 to 20 milligram per kg per day. Uh, so adult tablet will be of 300 milligram. The side effects. Read the side effects. Neuritis. The patient will have the tingling numbness of the hands. Marathi Made in Marathi language, Mungya Yetat Maja Hatala. Hatala Badirta Yete. Numbness is there, tingling sensation is there to the my fingers. That is called as a neuritis. Then rash. Skin rash will be there. Then automatically the dose has to be adjusted or another drug has to be selected. Rifampicin or 10 to 15 milligram per kg per day. Total tablet is of 450 milligram. Hepatitis, very important side effect. Liver problem. Rifampicin is the best for TB. But simultaneously, rifampicin can cause liver damage. You want to protect yourself? Ayurveda Academy, Mehuna, 9226810630 for paid online consultation. Support your Ayurvedic treatment for tuberculosis. Yes, we, we will give you. So, hepatitis, that's why. That's why. Every after two months of or one month even, I can say, starting after rifampicin, the patient should be asked to do the LFT, liver function test are mandatory. Liver function test. Total bilirubin, direct bilirubin, indirect bilirubin, SGOT, SGPT. You know this test. Huh? So these are all liver function tests. You have to do it. Then rash will be there. Pyrazinamide, 20 to 30 milligram per kg per day, 1 to 5 gram per day. Arthralgia, joint pain will start. Hepatitis is another side effect. Ethambutal, 15 to 20 milligram per kg per day. 800 milligram tablet is there for one day. And optic eye vision problem will be there. So you must visit to the ophthalmologist if you are taking AKT, anti-tubercular treatment, every after one month, check your retina. Check your retina. But Ayurvedic, some medicines and also some procedures, Netra Tarpana, 
that can be prevented. Okay. Streptomycin, 20 to 40 milligram. The dose, sorry, printing mistake, one gram. And auto, here, here, autotoxicity. After starting treatment, every after 15 days, you ask to the patient, are you hearing good? Or uh, is there any problem of hearing? Every time you have to ask because, because of the streptomycin toxicity, side effect, complication, the patient can damage the auditory nerve, hair cells, and there can be irreversible damage to the ear, hearing loss. You know the tuning fork, Ryanese test, huh? that fork test, you know, Weber's test, Schwabach test, hearing test. You can do the audiometry. You send it to the ENT surgeon. If the patient is little bit complaining, doctor, after this, uh, your uh, uh, medicines, I'm getting some problem of hearing on this side. I cannot hear. Oh my God, OMG. Send the patient to the ENT surgeon. That is very important. Okay. So this is the point that must be care, take care of. Now, we are nearly at the end. Today, unfortunately, I, have, I was thinking that I could complete the three diseases, but my dear friends, please excuse me. But I want to give you the most knowledge in a good fashion. Just making hurry, 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 hurry. Completing cholera, completing uh, typhoid. No, no. I am, not, I am not interested in that. I am not interested. Little time, but perfect. Because this TB... Sorry for my dialogue. Sorry for my thought. But it's like a break. Some diseases, just take it in a joke fashion. Huh? Some diseases are like bread and butter for the doctor. Bread and butter for the doctor. What does it mean? Lot of patients will come in the, with this disease and the doctor should be able, the medical student should be able to understand this disease properly. That's why the thorough discussion I have made. Always there is a query, huh? always. Sir, uh, in the comment, they, they, they write, Sir, tell us, the make one video on the Ayurvedic treatment of tuberculosis. That I will make, that is no problem. But basic scientific knowledge you should have about the tuberculosis thoroughly. So see this video many times. Share this video, like this video, and also don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. But before that, see here, the last para of today's lecture. Not today, not in the past, but in the future, coming 10, 15 years, TB will remain the very important communicable disease problem. You will ask, sir, why you are talking negatively? You should be positive, sir. India, TB will go. Yes, I am positive. I am proud of my country, India. But remember that unfortunately, this tubercle bacilli, tubercle bacilli remain alive in the human body for many years. Are you getting my point? Another problem is increasing drug-resistant cases. That's why I'm telling supportive Ayurvedic treatment is necessary. Many diseases, okay? Association of TB with HIV. Again, another problem. Importance of, very important statement, non-specific determinants. This is the problem in India. Undernutrition, biggest problem, your immunity will be low. Poor quality of life. Your houses are not good with the sunlight and ventilation overcrowding density of the population I already and another important for problem of nowadays mental stress mental stress Sir, mental stress will give TB Are bhaiya, my dear friend try to understand these are called as can you see here non-specific determinant see this word non-specific mycobacterium tuberculosis is a bacteria I agree but why I am getting infection because my immunity is becoming low. And these are all the things that your Oja Kshaya will be there. Are you getting? Oja is comparison to the immunity in the modern science. So stress is also one of the important reasons for getting the infection as well as getting cure, hurdles in the cure. So in tuberculosis, this is in addition to the mycobacterium tuberculosis specific bacilli. I hope in this one hour, Dr. Deshpande has excellently discussed about this tuberculosis problem. My dear friends, this is all for today. 
I wish you all the best. Take care and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you soon in the next video. Charak Uttarartha lecture is in the afternoon at 3 o'clock. The link has already been sent to the concerned students. So thank you very much and see you in the next discussion. Thank you.